So there's this finance worker at a multinational company who was actually tricked into paying $25 million to a fraudster who used a deep fake to deceive him. So here's what happened. At the very beginning of the conversation with these fraudsters, this finance worker actually thought that this is a phishing scam. So in order to believe or trust them, he had called them up for a video call. However, what these fraudsters did was used a deep fake technology with the most recent pictures of these chief financial officers of the huge other multinational company to deceive him. It was not just one person, but an entire team that actually looked like each of the members of this company. This made the original financial worker actually believe in them and made the transfer of $25 million. However, out of curiosity, this financial worker then reached out to the UK-based multinational company just to verify if it was actually a legitimate transaction and then they figured out this was all a scam when they were alarmed and they then informed the police and actually caught these fraudsters, which was a team of six. And this is not just the first type of fraud that we've seen in this deep fake space. Hong Kong has actually caught more than 20 different cases over the past past couple of months and also earlier this year we saw deepfake being used to create uh, unnecessary images of the pop star Taylor Swift also. So this is kind of concerning especially on a global level and there will definitely be measures coming into place on how this tech can be used or how we can take precautions in saving or defending against the threats of deepfakes. As alarming and worrying as it is, what are the steps that you are taking at your home or at your workplace to avoid being falling for these types of scams? Let me know in the comments below. I've also spoken about scams earlier which I'll leave a link to if you want to know more about them. Anyways, use the tech wisely, be safe out there and see you in the next one.